in this video we have to work evaluate log to the move log to the move log to the move e equal to the base of the tree what is here there are three logarithms which we have to deal with. Is there one logarithm here? This is very easy. Logarithm here. Now, this we have to evaluate, and then this entire thing we have to evaluate. This is a question. So, how do we go about it? From where we start? I think we should start from this this end right side right most end okay first we have to evaluate this okay let's start from our fundamental definition of logarithm we know that say if there is a number hundred then if for a number 100, 100 can be written as 10 square. We know that log 100, log 100 to the base 10, to the base 10 is the exponent 2. Or in general, we know that if n equal to a raised to x, then log n to the base a is x. This is the fundamental thing that we know. Now we have to evaluate 81 to the base root 3. That means, base, we have to find out a particular number so that root 3 when raised to that particular number gives you 81. This we have to find out. Okay, so there we have to find uh, 81 and root 3 relation that means 81 and 3 from where we can start. That's a good we have to find 81 and the root 3 relation that means 81 and 3 relation that's easy to write so that's a clue here so, so let's write from 81 can be expressed as 81 can be expressed as 9 into 9 9 is 3 square 3 square into 3 square that is 3 raised to 4. Now 3 is root 3 into root 3. So root 3 into root 3 raised to 4. Right? Equal to root 3 square raised to 4. Equal to root 3 raised to 2 into Equal root 3 power 8. Okay. That is 81 and root 3. We got the relationship now. That is, it is to the power 8. Now you take logarithm from the basic fundamental definition of logarithm root 81 to the base root 3 is 8. So we got the first part. Okay? Now, we have to revisit the question. Yeah. Now, this part we have got. This part of the question we have got. This value is h. We have got this h. That is equal to h. Now, we have to find. So, this question becomes. The question becomes log of. To the base 3 of log of to the base 2 8 okay now the three logarithms have been reduced to two logarithms okay now we have to start with this we have to find this now okay so again now you start analyzing this you, you see log of 8 to the base 2 basically we have to find the base the base number 2 when raised to a particular number should give you 8. So that number, we know it, that number, with that number is nothing but because 8 is 2 power 3, so 
this number is equal to 3. Now that means 8 and the two relationships we got. Now we need to take log from both sides log 8 to the base 2 to the base 2 is 3. Okay, now that 3 you have to substitute here. This entire thing is 3 now. This entire thing is 3. Then the question becomes. The question becomes this is equal to log of base 3. The entire this entire thing becomes 3. Okay. Now log of 3 to the base 3. That is 1. It's very easy because here you see this number is 3 and the base is 3. So the base number 3 raised to a particular number, now known number, should give you this number. Should give this. So we know that 3 power 1 is 3. Okay, that is 3 equal to 3 power 1. Now you take log on both sides log 3, log 3 to the base 3, the base will come here, to the base 3 equals this exponent 1. That is rewriting log 3 to the base 3 is 1. Now substituting this result back into here, log 3 to the base 3 is 1. That means answer to our question, let us revisit the question. Yeah, this entire thing is one. This is the answer. Thank you.